Okay. Me and Murray Mayhem uh, are in a bit of an argument on how overhead valves run. Overhead valves are actually different from these flatheads. Your carb actually goes into the top valve, and your exhaust is the bottom valve. Overhead valves. You have your two valves just as normal with your two little push rods in there. Except your intake, let me sort of just remove this cover a bit, a little more light. That didn't help. But intake, your pipe is longer and it sort of curves down. And that's because in your head you have sort of like two valves and I'm sort of positioning and your intake runs down at a bit of an angle to that bottom valve in your overhead valve. Let me somewhat sort of show you. Here we have a block of a Briggs engine. This is a little project I'm working on. Okay, this is a flathead. Okay. You got your exhaust and then your intake. But when you go and look at an overhead valve engine, you have your push rods coming to your head over this. Your exhaust is actually coming out over here. Hmm, ever wondered that? If you take a look at the push rod setup, you'll notice your rocker arm and your valves lined up exactly with that push or that muffler. And your intake comes in through your pipe, curls down. And overhead valves are actually a bit more efficient because they're right over the piston and not having to go through some weird little channeling. But, you know, I'm trying to explain it for Murray Mayhem, you know. Oh yeah, here's my MTD. I now have to wire the handle for the deck engagement. This is just some cheap bass wire. Bushings given out on this tire right in there. I also need a little push top. Because the other one cracked and it split my thumb open. So, overhead valves. Exhaust is positioned over here. It's your push rod and rocker arm. Intake is positioned right about in the middle, somewhat towards the up, but not all the way, you know, somewhere in like right about this region. You know, midpoint between the two rock, or between the two little uh, push rods goes, it goes to your little, and the port goes down, but your push rod and rocker arm and valve are all in line perfectly, just like over here. This one, uh, val valve stem is over a little bit. You know, got a valve like right over here and a valve right at right almost centered almost. If you take a look at it very carefully. So that's it. This is actually a project I've been planning on using horizontal shaft block on a lawnmower. You know, I'll have the little dipper for horizontal. And I'll also have lawnmower oil slinger. Not this one. This one just to hell. And here's a little project I'm planning on working on. I'm going to turn this old crap to come say, or to come suck, into a air compressor. It's got the one inch shaft, which is awesome. So, well, this appears to be the update, or well, somewhat of an update and my little winning to the conversation I just not noticed this I have many scissors rusted to no order so well that's it I will see you in the next update and comment like subscribe Murray Mayhem you comment back saying I'm wrong I will literally go tear apart a 28 cubic inch bricks just to show you have a good day.